Hey guys, how are you? Steph here. So it seems to me that recession is coming. It may already be here. So what can you do as a developer to prepare for the likely recession? Just in case you don't know, a recession is when the economy is shrinking. This is a problem because the whole economic system is based on a growing economy. The way the debt system works, uh, the way the whole economy is structured really is based on this idea that we're going to keep growing as an economy. For example, all this government debt that we put on is, is put on based on the assumption as the economy grows, the size of the debt relative to the economy will shrink so the debt's not an issue. Of course, they keep up piling on more and more debt. I don't think it's a wise move personally, but that's another story. Anyway, so we might be in a recession, may already have started because we already had negative growth in the last quarter as far as I understand. So if you have two quarters in a row negative, that's considered a recession. Typically, they only know about recessions after it's already begun. I think it's already begun. Who knows? So what can you do as developers? First thing, don't lose your cool. If you're a developer, chances are you're in a good position because the number of jobs for developers is this and the number of developers available is this. So you should be pretty good unless... So question number one, is your job safe? Is the company you're working for in a secure industry or, in, or is the business itself a safe business? Now, size of the business is not too important in this situation. You can have a small little business that's very secure because it's well run. They got a diversified client base, cash in the bank, everything's cool. Or it could be a huge business like Netflix, which had to start laying off a lot of people because their, uh, their whole model was based on perpetual growth. Now they have people dropping off of Netflix. So they're not hiring as much. I think they're laying off people as well. So the size of the business is not uh, necessarily a prime indicator as to whether or not your job is safe. It comes down to, again, the health of the business itself and how valuable you are in the business. I talk about this all the time. When you are a software developer, professional, well, when you're a professional in any field, you have to think of yourself as a service provider. Your job is to make other people's lives easier. The easier you can make people's lives, whether it be your boss, your coworkers, or your clients, the better off you will be because you will be valuable to them. They don't want to get rid of valuable people. So remember, whether you have a recession coming or you're in a recession or in a boom time, try to be the most useful, helpful person around. This way, they're not going to want to get rid of you. So if you feel that your job is not safe for whatever reasons, the first thing you should do is quietly start looking around at job opportunities. Prepare your resume, get it going based on what you see out there, and start applying for jobs. Start applying for jobs. See who's willing to hire. You see, if a company is willing to hire going into recession, chances are they have a nice runway in terms of cash and jobs, uh, availability of work, etc planned out ahead. They're not going to hire somebody going into a recession typically. So if you feel that your job may, may be shaky because the company is shaky or your relationship with people in the company may be shaky, or maybe you're a bit of dead wood. Maybe you're somebody who's working on a project that's not really going anywhere, or maybe you don't do very good work in that project because you're bored. I don't know. Things happen. Who knows? Anyhow, so if any thing gives you an inkling, an idea that perhaps your job might not be safe, start to prepare your resume, start sending it out quietly. You never know what will happen. Number two, if you don't already have it, something I've been talking about for many, many, many years now, have a nice stash of FU cash. FU cash is FU money. FU money gives you choice. What is that? It's enough money in savings that will pay all your expenses for at least six months I recommend 12 months. If you're going into recession, you might want to increase that to 18 months, you know? The more runway you have in terms of FU money, where well, you don't have to worry about getting a paycheck, the much more relaxed your situation is going to be, right? You won't feel any stress about, oh, am I going to get that next paycheck? Why? Because you've saved up a bunch of FU money. Saving up FU money is one of those fundamental things that you have to do in life if you want to have a nice, calm, relaxed lifestyle. 
no matter what you're doing. So if you don't have FU money, start saving like a mad dog right now. Cut expenses, start saving like a mad dog, number one. And number two, uh, if you do have FU money, if you only have six months or maybe a year, try to increase it another you know, three to six months just to give you a little breathing space because you know, if a recession does hit and heaven forbid you should lose your job, you're not, uh, your back's not up against the wall. You don't have to go move back home with mom. Finally, you should always be, as a developer, thinking about upping your skills, enhancing your skill sets. It could be tech skills, getting better at what you do in a particular technology you work with, maybe expanding your horizons, maybe exploring adjacent technologies that you might find useful down the road. And also, maybe you could look at improving your soft skills, your interpersonal skills, your communication skills. Uh, get out there, uh, just improve yourself as an individual. Make yourself a more valuable person to have around. This is something Warren Buffett talks about. The best investment you can make is in yourself. You should be doing this on a regular basis as a developer, and that doesn't necessarily mean new, learn new things all the time, but enhancement, refinements, you know? Something I always talk about, once you get your foundations of coding, you start building apps, Learn refactoring, learn design pattern. These two skill sets will improve you as a coder tremendously. Become a better communicator, written, verbal, etc. These will all contribute. So there you go. If recession is coming, and it probably is, chances are as a developer, you'll be fine because there's, there's, a, there's a glut of jobs. There's so many jobs that are not fulfilled. And, uh, you know, yes, they'll be hit in a recession, but... If you're competent, you'll be fine. So number one, determine how safe your job is. If it's not safe, start sending out your resume, start applying. Number two, be sure you have some FU money. If you don't have it, save it, save it. The more FU money you have, the better. You know, again, normally six to 12 months. Uh, if it were going into recession, maybe increase that to 18 months. Hmm, I changed my mind on that, but you get the idea. And number three, uh, continue to enhance your skills, whether development skills, become better at refactoring, become better at uh, design patterns, uh, learn a new language, what have you, better soft skills. This will all help protect you now and into the future. I hope you found this video useful. My name is Steph. I have a mentoring program slash bootcamp you may want to check out. I also have solo learn courses as well if you like to learn on your own. Links below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs. If you don't like the video, give me two thumbs down. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them below, leave comments. Let me know what you think of this video. Ciao.